Hi, this is Austin. Today, we'd like to share how to differentiate this function using implicit differentiation. On the left hand side, we can see the tangent with the angle x minus y, which means that this is a composite function. So, we have to differentiate using the chain rule. When we differentiate tangent, we obtain secant square. So, which means that we have secant square x minus y. And we times so we differentiate the inner function using the chain rule so when we differentiate x we obtain 1 differentiate minus y we obtain minus dy dx and we done for the left hand side the next step is to differentiate the right hand side on the right hand side we can see that apparently this is a quotient so we can let u will be equal to y so when we differentiate u with respect to x we obtain dy dx and we let v be 1 plus x squared so we should obtain when we differentiate we with respect to x we should have differentiate 1 is 0 differentiate x squared to bring down to x power loss 1 so 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so we should have when we differentiate the quotient should be we du dx minus u dv dx the whole thing over v squared so we just substitute accordingly which means that we should have 1 plus x squared times dy dx minus u dv dx which means that we should have 2xy then we over v squared so we have 1 plus x squared as v then we whole thing squared then we done for the right hand side what we have to do next is times the whole equation by the denominator of the right hand side which means that we times 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared so we should have 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared secant squared x minus y and we times 1 minus dy dx on the left hand side and the right hand side 1 plus x squared dy dx minus 2xy then the next step is to expand the left hand side so which means that we should have 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared times secant squared x minus y times 1 so get back the same thing and we minus so 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared secant squared x minus y and we times dy dx is equal to 1 plus x squared dy dx minus 2xy then what we have to do next is to group the part with the term with dy dx on one side and the term without dy dx on the other side so since this is negative so i will move this to the right hand side and become positive so we have 1 plus x squared dy dx and this is already on the right hand side so remain we do not change the sign of this coefficient so we still be positive then this negative move forward become positive 1 plus x squared the whole thing square secant square x minus y dy dx then on the left hand side this is already on the left hand side so 1 plus x square the whole thing square secant square x minus y and this is on the right hand side we should move to the left hand side which means have minus and become plus so we have 2xy then this one we don't have any common term but here we have the common term as we can see we have 1 plus x squared here 1 plus x squared here we have dy dx and dy dx so which means that when we take out we should have 1 plus x squared times dy dx so we left this one everything take out so we left one then plus this we take out only one but here we have two so remain one one plus x squared and this one taken out so we left only this part secant square x minus y so we have time for the 
right hand side and now we just have to copy the left hand side so we have 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared times secant squared x minus y plus 2xy what we have to do here is to express dy dx in terms of x and y so dy dx is equal to so dy dx which we have this one and this one we have to move to the left hand side so times move forward become divide so we have 1 plus x squared the whole thing squared secant squared x minus y plus 2xy the whole thing we over 1 plus x squared times 1 plus 1 plus x squared secant squared x minus y and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you